you know, black folks trying some new parts of the software and so forth. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on Rothbera. I showed this at the very last second on a video yesterday because it was glaring through. And this is basically what we've seen in the past. And this is all super giant stuff. So there are some intelligent people that are communicating with me now that know about and they. <coughs> I had one person tell me that they figured it was Pateglis and it's going to be gone in four days. Somewhat believe that person, but then it's somewhat, I mean, and don't take that the wrong way, that person. There's tons of people that communicate with me, and folks, everybody that emails me, I see what you see, and what you say, and so forth, and, and I agree with it. just about anybody who's intelligent that has communicated with my email, okay? They block a lot of people, a lot of people make comments on stuff, and if it's stuff that's important, they actually do screw us over, and yes, they are blocking us, folks. They are getting me... My my site is spidered out, and I can't control that. It's what Kerasoft is basically psyopily messing around with, and they can get away with it because they're a private corporation. They do it for the CIA, ISS, NSS, anything you name you want to make up with initials, because everything in the black box, American security and UK security is all secretive. They have names that they put in spy books that they don't even use anymore. They might still have that agency, and then they might use that agency. There's things that don't even have a flipping name, okay? So, and then British stuff screws around with American citizens, and American spy stuff screws around with British citizens, and it's illegally can be getting away with so that the money, power, and control always is in control. Okay, so this is... Okay, a little choppy today because of new recording software. So 6.2 earthquake today. And I'm sure that uh, more than likely if anybody started getting on the phone right away, they probably get that little uh, recording of like the lines are busy. Yeah, that's never a possibility because they just want to hush people up for a little while. You know, so anyway, I'm pretty sure since we got a 6.2 down there that anything in Texas and around Florida and down in the Gulf Coast felt that. Okay. And they do uh, like when there's a 4.4 in Alaska, they don't even on the USGS list. So currently, watch the uh, massive CME up here. That's basically a big fireball you're gonna see come out. Cause I can speed it up and slow it down. I got it slowed down to like an hour, at almost like a second. Come down here and we'll see the clock. I got it slowed down a little bit. You can slow it down even more, but you can see the massive fireball that goes off. And it is. We know the CMEs are huge because it's from everything from the supergiants and the sun. But that's a long lasting big old fireball CME going out somewhere off H1B. I'll speed it up. Speed. You'll realize that basically you can speed it up and then you have a day flop like almost every 10 seconds or something like that. And you'll see that gigantic fireball. So it is dangerous if it hits something and then the idea that we've seen how the planets react to just the CME action of all this huge CME. But a CME fireball like that is what all the scientists and the physicists are always worried about. Astrologers, astronomers, because that fireball that you keep seeing, that big old ball there that looks like a planet. Well, it's not a planet. Well, it is. It's, it's probably as big as Jupiter or something like that. And it's from the bumping and rubbing and all the action that the sun's taken up there in the supergiant's main sequence. And that is just a huge CME fireball that's going to end up staying bright and hard and hitting some planet somewhere. And it's tripped through space. And we get this whole CME, and that's not just the whole thing, because this whole sun 360 degrees around is doing that. Yeah, they don't like that. Okay, so. This is from the 16th. And that other one, yes, that was, if you see the date on that, that was like 120 or something of 2011. So that was like the first month of last year. Okay, on the 20th. Okay. So it was doing a bunch of this last year, and we go 365 days point something circle around the sun.
so here's a compilation of the week. As you see, that was Jupiter there. Now, uh, and I can't really zoom in on either one of these when I'm playing in the player, but I can basically just pause a lot as we're going through here, but this is pretty much a compilation. What I don't understand is why they don't put that up there. But then it would give you the illusion of not knowing how big the supergiants are too, I guess. But because that is one side camera here, B, B there, and then A down here. This is one side shot there, one side shot there. Uh, B is on the left hand side when you're on Earth looking at the sun, shooting at an angle, at the sun and Earth, and then. A is ahead and on your right hand side when you're looking up at the sun or from Earth. Okay, big flares, massive flaring. And I think they've got these synced on time, at least somewhat, I would believe. They got 23, 23, uh, 1700 hour there, so that's a little bit different and off. So you're not getting the same exact flare. Can't see the clock on this, and I don't know how to move it down. Is are matching on the dates anyway. Times are matching, so it's pretty well synced. So, but it's like I was able to show you this here on the other video. Okay, that's very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what that is, and basically we have it up there marked, and we can see that it's not marking on here. Jupiter's not flaring, so we know it's not Jupiter. Okay? So, you gotta watch and see if they have any notation of what planet that is, what we're seeing on H1B, and then you know what planet it is that did that CME reactive flare. Okay? That's something to search out. Is this date and time here? As we've seen that planet start back across, we can figure out which one that is. And I'm believing it would be Mercury. Okay? Because as you see the flash there, and we've already seen it in the video before there, and you get it on the other H1B shot. And if I remember the last time we've seen anything on that was Mercury or Jupiter was the only thing it should have been in. I may have had it backwards because the map this week was showing us uh, ahead would have been Mercury and, and B would have been Jupiter but as you see how it played out for the week is the ahead shot had Jupiter in it at least either that or they've marked it backwards okay maybe it was Jupiter that flared trying to cover up the size of the supergiants in the Sun because if this is Jupiter that flared down there and they have this mark wrong as being Jupiter and not being Mercury. So, one way or the other, they screwed up because we've seen it on the actual beacon map earlier this week that was saying that a head was shooting Mercury and B was shooting Jupiter. So, then they have it marked this way. So, one way or the other, their map was messed up because we know that we had this flash and that flash there. It'll come across again. You'll see the planet right there. Ooh, they got it marked. Hang on. So what do they have that marked as? It is Mercury that flashed then? Yeah. It's Mercury or Mars. They got it barely, barely, barely of their mark. Let's see if I can get it right at the beginning. It looks like it Mars. Okay, so more than likely Mars got a flash. Mars is what flashed right there. You see it starting to get ready to do it right there. And if you can barely, it should be Mars. It doesn't matter. It's Mars or Mercury because you can see the M on the planet. Okay. As you can see, they didn't want us to really clearly see it. But it sure looks like Mars. Oh, that's real good. I, that's that right. That barely. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Mars. It sure looks like MA to me. 
doesn't look like ME right here, folks. I can't zoom in on it. Okay. But folks, there's planets that we don't even know about. They're way the hell out. And I got this speed set just right where I'm getting CME reactive flares off other planets way out in the solar systems. Solar systems, folks. Check this out. Way out there. Because there's Mars there. Not showing it. Either that or they're trying to fake us out. And that's Mars over there doing it. Because you see a planet right there doing it. And as a CME and the supergiants flare, you see a reactive flare at least off of one planet for sure. You could keep watching this flash, but that planet right there flashes a CME reactive flare as you see that that flash comes back this way. And there's other ones too. Okay, as the CME comes out. Now I'll slow this film down a little bit here on this. We'll hit the slower. Slow it down a little bit. I think I may have sped it up, but try to slow it down as much as we can. I got speed four. Get it down to like two. See what it looks like. But as you've seen, as I sped it up, you can see a, a planet flare off of that solar flare. Okay, and there you use you, hot. So there's planets that are doing this even besides Mars. And in this shot, we don't see Mars do it, but we've seen it on the compilation. And there's our dramatic V that we've seen, and I'll go to the photos real fast, and we really think that by matching up when you look at this, it's the only massive V that's always there, constant, pretty much like that, that V, and these planets, and this is the sun up here, in this blind here, okay, and all this back here is a supergiant, and that's another thing for you to look at when you go back, back it up to when it's flashing on that CME like that, it's not just, yeah, right there like that, it's not just the sun, it's a supergiant, so we blow up on this, there it is. Secret, 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 secrets, or cloud and planets.